In this tutorial, we learn how to find a specific term or a specific power of x inside a binomial expansion, and that's without writing all of the terms of the expansion. And we're going to learn the method by working through an example. That's the example we have here. We need to find the x to the power of 8 term in the expansion of x squared plus 2, all of which is being raised to the power of 7. So I'll start by moving this question to the side like so, and now we can get started. The binomial expansion formula allows us to state that x squared plus 2 raised to the power of 7 equals to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 7 of the binomial coefficient 7r times x to the power of 2, which is raised to the power of 7 minus r, times 2 to the power of r. And the approach we take for finding the x to the power of 8 term is to determine the value of r at which the general term, which I'm underlining now, is an x to the power of 8 term. Now this general term I typically call tr, t as in term. And in fact, I'll copy that general term directly below this. That's tr equals to the binomial coefficient 7r times x to the power of 2, which in turn is being raised to the power of 7 minus r, times 2 to the power of r. Now, before finding the value of r at which this term corresponds to an x to the power of 8 term, we need to simplify things a bit. In particular, we need to distribute this power 7 minus r across these parentheses. Doing so leads to the following. This equals to the binomial coefficient 7r times x to the power of 2 times 7 minus r times 2 to the power of r. Simplifying this a little further leads to the binomial coefficient 7r times x to the power of 2 times 7, which is 14, minus 2 times r, which is 2r, times 2 to the power of r. And I personally always like to write the power of x term last in this product, so I'll go ahead and rewrite this general term tr as the binomial coefficient 7r times 2 to the power of r times x to the power of 14 minus 2r. And that's the general term of this binomial expansion. Now that that's done, we find the value of r for which this general term corresponds to an x to the power of 8 term. And the key thing for doing that is to focus on the power of x that we have here, that's x to the power of 14 minus 2r, and solving the following equation. x to the power of 14 minus 2r has to equal to x to the power of 8, which is the power of x we're trying to find. And this equation is an exponential equation, and both sides of this equation are written as powers of x. So to find the value of r, we can get rid of the x's altogether and write 14 minus 2r equals to 8. Solving this for r, we subtract 14 from each side, which leads to negative 2r equals to 8 minus 14. That's negative 2r equals to negative 6. And dividing both sides by negative 2 leads to r equals to negative 6 over negative 2. Finally, r is equal to 3. This result tells us that when r equals to 3, the general term is the x to the power of 8 term. So to find the x to the power of 8 term, all we need to do is go back to the general terms formula and replace every r that we see by 3. So let's go ahead and do that. The x to the power of 8 term is t3, which equals to 7, 3, that's the binomial coefficient, times 2 to the power of 3, times x to the power of 14, minus 2 times 3. That's equal to 7, 3, times 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, times x to the power of 14 minus 6, which is 8. And this x to the power of 8 confirms that we're indeed dealing with the x to the power of 8 term that we were trying to find. All we need to do now is calculate this binomial coefficient. And I'll do that on the right-hand side here. The binomial coefficient 7, 3, equals to factorial 7 over factorial 7 minus 3 times factorial 3. That's equal to factorial 7 
over factorial 4 times factorial 3. That's equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times factorial 4 over factorial 4 times factorial 3. The factorial 4s on the numerator and the denominator cancel each other out, which leaves us with 7 times 6 times 5 over factorial 3, which is 3 times 2 times 1. We see that the denominator equals to 6, so that cancels out with the 6 on the numerator. And we're left with 7 times 5, which equals to 35. So this binomial coefficient 7, 3, equals to 35. Now that we have that result, we go back to the x to the power of 8 term that we were working on and state that this equals to 35 times 8 times x to the power of 8. And 35 times 8 equals to 280, which is multiplying x to the power of 8. And that's the final answer. We've just found the x to the power of 8 term inside this binomial expansion without writing all of the terms. In the next tutorials, we're going to be working through some slightly more complicated examples. Nevertheless, the underlying approach or the method will always be the same. We're always going to be working with the general term of the binomial expansion and finding the value of r at which the power of x is the power that we're looking for. For now though, that's it for this tutorial.